Web of Science – How to Search by Author This video covers how to search the Web of Science database by author, how to limit results by publication year, and by journal articles and review articles, and how to find out how many times an article has been cited. Remember, to access any library database or journal articles from off-campus, you will need to install and log into the VPN. If you know the name of the database you need, you can access it from the database search on the library homepage. All databases needed for this assignment are also listed in the Chem 124 course guide. To access Web of Science from the Chem 124 course guide, click on Finding Journal Articles. Scroll down past the entry for SciFinder and click on Web of Science. The Web of Science database indexes research in all disciplines. It provides very broad coverage, but it does not provide the same depth of indexing that databases focused on a single discipline provide. The Web of Science database can tell you how many times an article has been cited in the literature as well. To search by author in Web of Science, there are several options. The easiest is to enter the author's last name and first name in the search box. Then, to the right of the search box, click the drop-down arrow to change the default search field from Topic to Author. Then click Search. The results screen gives journal articles authored by Susan Kaslerich. Information at the top of the screen shows there are 228 articles. You can limit by publication year by using the toolbar on the left. Under the Publication Years heading, click More Options – Values. To include articles published in 2010 and later, click those years and click Refine. The information at the top of the screen shows our results are now limited to 161 articles. To limit to journal and review articles, scroll down to the Document Types heading on the left toolbar and click on More Options Values. Click the Article and Review boxes and click Refine. The info at the top of the screen shows our results are now limited to 96 articles. Refer to the intro video for why different databases give different results when searching for the same author. The results page gives article titles and brief citation information. To see the abstract for the article and get a copy of it, click on the article title. This page gives the abstract for the article and additional information. To get a copy of the article, click on the UCD eLinks link. This looks up the journal in the UC Davis catalog. If a full text available link is at the top, click on that. This will either take you directly to the article or move you down the page to links or options for getting the articles. If you see an online link here for the article, click on that. This will take you to the publisher's web page. Each publisher's page looks a little different. This article is in the journal Dalton Transactions published by the Royal Society of Chemistry. Find and click on the PDF link. This brings up the PDF copy of the article. From here, you can save, print, or email the article to yourself. Web of Science also gives citation data for articles. This is on the right side of the screen. The default order for most article databases is that the most recently published articles appear on top. The articles shown here have only been published a few months, so they have not been around long enough to be cited. Web of Science will let you sort by time cited to find out which articles by a given author or for a given topic are the most cited. At the top of the results page, near the Sort By, click on the Times Cited link. These articles are now sorted by the number of times they have been cited. The Zintel Phases for Thermoelectric Devices article has been cited 318 times. The 318 number is a link. Click on it to see the 318 articles that cited this paper. You can also go back to the default order with most recently published articles on top by clicking on the Date link next to the Sort By. Refer to the intro video for why different databases give different numbers of citations for the same paper. Click Search to get back to the main search screen. 